Hello and welcome back. We are building a community of people of faith who are financially independent. They can take care of themselves, help others, and also help build the kingdom of God. And today we are talking about the importance of being able to take wise advice in all areas, but of course, specifically, we're going to be talking about finance. I was thinking about the time when I was uh, at a work assignment and I'm talking to uh, one of my coworkers and he asked me a simple question. And he said, do you pay off your credit card balances at the end of the month? And I said something to the effect of, well, pretty close. Generally, you know, I always have uh, a small balance left over. And this guy looked at me with pity in his eyes. Pity, <laughs> like you poor, ignorant thing. You have no idea what you are doing. And he was right. I didn't really understand the ramifications of it because leaving interest or paying additional interest because I've left the balances on my credit card when I could pay those off meant that I was willingly basically giving my uh, debtors a tip. So I was paying for whatever the item was and then paying interest on that. And his wisdom that day was the importance of getting out of debt. And that really stuck with me. But here's the thing. I didn't get mad about it. I didn't get upset about it. I didn't walk away feeling like, man, you need to mind your own business. I didn't ask you for this advice anyway. I'm living just fine and I am paying my bills on time, so leave me alone. No, what I did was I really started thinking about it and, and, and started wondering why is it so important to him really thinking it through, doing additional research on my own. And from that, that started me on a journey to pay off credit card bills in full each month. That was the goal. Now, it, it took me a while to get to the point where I was able to do that, but that was a goal in the back of my mind. And I realized that it was possible. There were people who paid off their credit card debt every single month and it opened up possibilities to me. Why is this important? Because what Proverbs 9 tells us is that if someone is giving you good sage advice, and in our instance, we're talking about finances, but really it could be in any part of life, and you get mad, and you get defensive about it, and you refuse to listen, and you think, you know, they don't tell me what to do. The Bible says that you are acting foolishly. Good advice, given to you and you're mad about it. You're like, they are entering my space and I didn't give them permission to enter. That means you are acting foolishly. But it goes on to say something else that's really important. But if you give wisdom, instruction, correction to a wise person, they will love you all the more for it. In other words, it's an easy check for us to see, are we acting foolishly or are we acting wisely? Come on now. If somebody tells you to stay out of debt, somebody tells you you need to save money, somebody tells you you need to learn a little bit about investing, invest in your work 401k, invest in, your, in an IRA. If they're telling you those things, that is sound advice. That is wise advice. And if it makes you mad, Ask yourself why. Why does it really make you mad? Is it because it's highlighting a weakness in you? It's highlighting an area where you need to grow. Why are you mad? Why are you mad when someone is giving you good sage advice? And why more importantly, do you refuse to follow it and make your own life better? The scripture is there for a reason. Wisdom is there for a reason, but if we refuse to use it, refuse to listen, refuse to hear it, then we're just being foolish and we don't want to do that. We want to be wise. Listen, I pray that this has blessed you and I hope that you grab onto the advice the way that I did. It took me several years in order to get my act together, but that was the seed. That was the push that I needed. I pray that you will consider liking this video and also subscribing to this channel and um, 
leave a comment below on any advice that you have taken from someone that was good, wise advice or you really wish you had taken it. <laughs> also, when you get a chance, check out this video. God bless you. We'll see you next time.